hi in excel we are going to say how to use denomination denomination we are going to use it for as an example for salaries nowadays salaries total is uh, salaries are transferred through banks but for let's say for temporary workers for a construction site we are going to hire some temporary workers to finish the construction uh, finish the building constructions for them we are usually giving currency cash so in first row in this example in first row i have entered the currencies that available in my country it's depend upon your country you can start from whatever the value let's say for 5000 you can start from 5000 it's up to you so i have started from 2000 up to 1 2000 1500 like that likewise i have entered up to 1 and the balance I have entered. I'm going to enter it here. The first formula I'm going to enter it in C3. Here I'm going to use INT function. So I'm going to put equal mark INT that is integer will remove the decimal points and provide me with the balance amount. So P3 divided by C1. For C1, 1 is I'm going to keep it a stable amount means I don't want to change this 2000 if I drag it down it should not change so the one in front of one I'm going to put dollar sign which is absolute mark so I'm going to close this bracket and it gives me the value that I want so number of notes for 2000 I need two that means 4000 rupees in 2000 notes for the thousand I'm going to start with INT then I'm going to use the function called mod that it will return the balance amount so mod salary that is B3 comma C1 means B3 divided by C1 is 2.94 so it will provide me with the balance amount which is 1888.88 so for the mod B3, B3 comma C1 the value it will return is 1889.88.88 that value I am going to divide it by 1000 and return the integer value of the re return amount return value so again I am going to keep all ones stable so I am going to put dollar mark in, in front of each one now I'm going to copy this formula for the next one so in order to copy this formula I'm going to press F2 and I'm going to select all and copy then paste it here that is copy means control C then paste it to the E3 control V here I already got the amount for the balance for the thousand amount so from I'm going to minus that thousand uh, number of thousand rupees notes total from the number of thousand rupees notes so d3 so minus that value here d3 into d1 but I have to use this in brackets because in this section d1 be divided by e3 which is 500 rupees e1 will be the one to be calculated first so I'm going to put it put this section in bracket to, to tell the excel that this section has to be completed before it should be divided by e1 so 500 rupees notes it's completed the same thing you are going to copy it and paste it for the 200 rupees notes and same thing you are same way you are going to minus the 500 rupees notes total total from the 500 rupees notes total value that means I'm going to put it here e3 into e dollar 1 e front of n divided by f1 front of each one I'm going to put dollar here I made a mistake here so I, I, did, I forgot to put one dollar so I insert the dollar here same thing I will go back and I will insert dollar there so again two from the 200 formula I'm going to copy it and put it for the 100 rupees same way f3 into f dollar 
वन ट्वेल्व एच जी थ्री आई विल कंटिन्यू टू डू द सेम फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द सेल्स We are going to do the same thing again and again. Ten rupees is completed. Next one, five rupees notes. Two rupees. Sorry, K three S T K dollar one divided by L one. is for 1 rupees so the final so we have to get the balance balance will be in decimal point so IIT function we have to remove for the last one I am going to change it here so I will remove this INT function and no need brackets now because we are not going to divide by anything so no need brackets so the last value M3 into Now we are going to copy this formula for the rest of the salaries. I am using 888 numbers so that it will have everything here. Now we are going to check because there can be mistakes here. Uh, maybe I forgot somewhere, anywhere, a dollar sign or something. A mistake can happen. So I am going to check whether this is correct or not. Also we need the denomination number of notes we need and we need to provide it to the bank so first we need to get the total of the number of notes and copy the same to everything here also same thing now total of 2000 rupees notes that means this one multiplied by C1, C8 multiplied by C1. Same thing for the 1500 and each and every cell. Here we are going to take only this one because this is the total. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. So I am put check here. This is for you only. So let us take this total value from the salary minus it, sum the total from the denominations. should provide you with 0. If you receive 0, that means your denomination is correct. Thank you. Sorry if my English is wrong or any mistakes in my English. I apologize for that. Please leave a comment and please press subscribe. Thank you.